I'm about to do a whole video walking you through my landscaping equipment, my trailer, trucks, and explain what I like and dislike. And I'll flip the camera over right now. So this 2006 is going back on the road next week. This is going to be a little bit of a longer video because I want to explain how I've had like this trailer for a long time and I love it. But And the dump trailer, some stuff that's annoying me and some little ideas. Maybe this uh, help you and I want to know in your comments below. So this 06 I've had for quite a few years. 2016 I bought it. And the guy lied to me. But I bought it for twenty five hundred bucks. It was posted for three grand, I think. He had it parked somewhere else. I looked it all, checked out all the fluids, everything was good. But what I didn't see was the tail housing was cracked under up underneath here. Basically, there was fluid, a big puddle of fluid, like twenty feet over, <laughs> and everything was fine. Well, when I got to driving home and I parked it, I noticed a big puddle of fluid underneath. Guy totally didn't tell me. Instantly, I took it to a shop and got it all fixed, and I realized it was cracked because up underneath here, the uh, the drive shaft, one of the U joints was busted, and it, it, the whole thing was vibrating. And it was vibrating, and it cracked the tail housing, and fluid was just pissing all over the place. So I think I, I just got new U joints, and it fixed the problem. And uh, it's got extra leaf strings, springs. This thing used to be a roofing truck. So yeah, there's little bits of like tar on there. I couldn't scrub them off. I scrubbed off as much as I could, and I literally painted the rest. Uh, getting it back on the road this week, it's you know insured. It's been out of commission for a little bit, but now we, we got the rims painted, changing the fluids, changing the brakes, uh, getting a fire extinguisher. It's messy now because I'm doing a bunch of stuff in here. Some new seat covers, fire extinguisher back there, medical kit. Uh, we got triangles coming instead of like safety flares. A uh, new instrument cluster because it, uh, it, it, it said you were going 160 miles per hour when you'd be doing like 20. Just fried. So we got a brand new one up in here. It's all cleaned out. Got insurance on it. It's going back on the road this week. And we got a new steering wheel cover. I love old trucks. I love this old truck. I just hate maintenance. I hate doing any type of maintenance. The downtime, that's why I leased a brand new truck as well. Because I can't stand downtime and it's very costly. Now, if you have anything to say about that, let me know in the comments below. Now, check out my enclosed trailer. If you see my phone number, this is my business line on any of this stuff. I implore you, do not call my business line out of respect. Just because. If you want to get a hold of me and you have to talk to me, go to keithkelpis.com slash call and we can get on the phone. All right. I'm not trying to sell you anything. It's just please don't call my business line. And I mean all respect by that. But Okay, so this is the enclosed trail. I've had this for years. I got this off Craigslist. Literally, I don't know. It was years ago. I was so excited because the guy was selling it for like a thousand bucks. I was so broke. I borrowed $800 of the money off my own wife. And I literally went in the middle of the winter. I bought this thing. I towed it home with my rusty Dodge Dakota. And I was in heaven. When you get your first trailer, I don't care what it is. If everything yells. <laughs> and the way that it feels is amazing. So it's an amazing feel. So there's a lot of stuff going on in here. We're actually in the middle of reorganizing it all right now. We got tools all over the place. We're uh, putting these equipment defender racks. For the, to hold the blowers. We got equipment defender racks here. Uh, the one for the edger is in the truck. And these things are awesome. Actually, you can get a discount with them with my link. If you go, I'll put a link in the description below this video or go to equipmentdefender.com and use passcode Keith10 is the promo code. We'll save you 10% off all that stuff. So coming in here, um, this is cool. What's this, trash? Okay. Shovels and hand tools. Um, basically I saw this trailer, these sprinkler guys one time, because I was trying to figure out a way to put the hand tools. Now, Equipment Defender Racks makes this one here. They make a couple different ones, and we're going to be setting these up. Look at this. Boom. This is going to actually hold, like, the D-handle tools, so we might get rid of these now, because I got these. Um, you know, like a tool that's got a handle that slides over and just chills on there. Here's this thing. By equipment defender racks in metal form 
So this is gonna go here. We're gonna put all the hand tools. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna upgrade to this. But that wood is a good idea. It's cheap, you just cut it at a 45 degree angle. And there you go. Uh, what else? So these are all the hand tools and shovels. I started out by buying stuff from garage sales and now I just, you know, you just hand tool. There you go, There's that's what I was talking about, see? All right, um, we got Echo and Steel, Weed Whips, Edgers, Bed Redefiners, just normal stuff. S salt, hydraulic jacks, toolboxes with anything you can imagine there. And these gas cans. I got these new, um, what are those shore cans? The shore cans are sweet. Uh, it's all the way over in the truck. So I'll show you later. But the shore cans are sweet. What else? Um, oh yeah, buckets with grass seed and preen, different stuff. Uh, I don't do fertilizer. I tried it for a minute, spraying a little bit of Roundup years ago for like a, like a couple weeks. And I was like, I don't even want to get licensed to do all that. So I'm not going to do any of it. So we don't do any of that stuff. So that literally has, I think, just water in it or something. But we got, uh, here. here's all the chainsaws. Two by fours, I put the, like gaps like slats and it just holds them real nice here's ropes for rigging and pulling out shrubs and doing stuff like that here's some climbing gaffs these geckos these things are sweet my friend william elling taught me about those he's my mentor in a lot of stuff everything trees actually we got window cleaning gear gonna be going back here and water fed pole stuff because we still do a lot of window cleaning for our landscaping customers uh, we have a whole channel called my other channel, the Window Cleaning Blueprint. Just hit 15,000 subscribers. Oh, man, I've got like a thousand videos on that channel. Check that out if you're into window. Up there, we got ropes and gear, safety stuff, PPE. Still working on organizing it all, hand tools and lappers. And I wrote this down, but I'm going to find a better way. I was just talking about this on my Instagram at Keith Kelfus. Hand tools, earmuffs, saws, PPE, hand saws, shears. We've got it all written down. Oil. There's all the oil and stuff. We've got a bunch of Xmark OEM original oil there. I'm going to be doing another Xmark mower video soon. And um, when we do like landscape installs, we got like mallets, and rubber mallets, and pins, and all types of connectors and stuff for edging. And uh, we've got these ammo boxes for um, specifically pins. Okay, here's another thing. Where is it, man? There's this, uh, uh, it's hiding somewhere. A metal toolbox specifically for when we install weed bigger fabric. I'm getting different toolboxes for different items. Here you go, here's a short can. Fill with water for washing your hands. Uh, you can save 10% on sure cans. If you uh, click the link below, sure can, and use code pass code Keith10, these things are sweet because you can fill it up from holding it up top. Here's an old idea I had and it still works. Um, you take PVC pipes with these brackets, you could just go to like Lowe's or Home Depot, cut them at a 45 degree angle, and then you could just slide all your tools in there. It works, but if you put too many in there and then you're hitting bumps, it crams them in there so tight you got to fight to get them out, which could become a hazard, because if you're not super careful, you could ding or you know hit your knuckles or cut yourself or something, which is not cool. you got to be super careful, but um, helmets... Oh wow, there's a combi power head up in there. Weed bearer fabric. Uh, what else? We got this. So when we transport and plant trees, we wrap it around like the caliper or like the, uh, the stem of the tree so it doesn't rub on anything. Underneath here, we got like PPE and gloves and oil and all types of different stuff and drill bits. and These organizers are sweet. I don't think I like them all the way back here. Get yourself some of these. These are sweet. Because I got several of them in there that are filled up. Get, I got one in my truck too. For all the different random stuff that goes into your truck, just put that in the back seat. And now you have it all in one place instead of in the center console and in the doors and all these different places. Your truck becomes a nightmare. Get one of those. Um, safety cones. What else? Okay, let's go around to the... Uh, dump trailer now. Uh, I just got these drills from uh, DeWalt from Lowe's. Thanks Lowe's for sending me these different cool DeWalt tools. I love them. Beautiful with the charging setup. Man, these are powerful. 
I never had DeWalt stuff before. I have Milwaukee stuff, which is really, really good, high quality stuff. And I just fell in love with Milwaukee. And then I got a DeWalt. I like both of them. There's something about this drill, man. When you squeeze it, it feels like a little machine in your hand. It's something about it. It just feels really good. Not that Milwaukee isn't good. Milwaukee's amazing, but it's, it's your preference, right? All right, that's that. And, uh, painting these rims up. Got some new tires. Just got four brand new tires on the dump trailer. Because it, uh, now I park my stuff at my residence because I, I was paying for a lot space and there wasn't tight security all my stuff got ripped off I get ripped off for like 4200 bucks and stuff so now I have 11 cameras all over my own residence and security 11 cameras running and recording all the time and security and alarms and everything so um, anyways four brand new tires I got this uh, little giant ladder. Just got this from Lowe's. Locked on here with this pin. The one thing I don't like about this is you see that weld right there? With these little tack welds and this aluminum? That's only holding that one bar. So I got three extra bungees on here as well. Super tight to make sure it stays in place. If you have a better idea, let me know. And then coming around this way, 10 foot dump trailer, bad idea. I got this because I was paranoid about putting too much stress on my F-150. And I lease my trucks, except for that one. That one, dude, these trucks will definitely pull a 12 or 14 foot dump trailer. I'm not saying loaded with like straight up topsoil, but F-150s are strong, bro. People don't give them enough credit. If you're pulling a 20, 24 foot box trailer loaded with mowers, and heavy stuff, of course you need an F-250, right? But my 150 pulls no problem. But 10 foot dump trailer, man, this thing gets a lot of work done, but it's just enough to aggravate you and piss you off. <laughs> this is a, a, a panel that fried these solar panels. So I got an, another one, that one sucks. Then I got this one, charges the battery. Works great. This thing's a beast. I got this from Total Trailer in uh, Clinton Township, Michigan. These high sides I built out of wood. Do that. That's good. Pool noodle with zippy ties. So if you lower the tailgate and it happens to touch your dump trailer, bad. Get something so it can sit softly on there so it doesn't scratch your tailgate. I added these two toolboxes by literally like rack rack um, putting brackets and ratchet straps just because I needed more storage it's a mess it's got oil and spray paint for marking and bug spray and off and wasp always have this on your truck <laughs> bee, bee and wasp and hornet killer spray I don't like getting rid of bees I love nature but if you're trying to trim some shr shrubs you're on a job and they start stinging you and you got to get the job done i feel horrible i don't know what to do let me know what you think in the comments below batteries pruners this thing's crazy this little milwaukee hatchet <laughs> this thing actually is amazing i love it here's a battery bag for all the batteries i just ordered two more these are expensive one to two hundred dollars each per battery Oh, gloves. This stuff is really good right here. Hedge trimmer, blade cleaner, resin remover, spray. Phenomenal. Um, one thing that's a little weird to me, it could have worked. I had this, uh, somebody working for me and they were incredibly intelligent. But uh, anyways, they created all this but they created all these little slots for every different thing. And that would have been awesome if it was made out of something else besides for cardboard. Besides for cardboard, because it's already falling apart. But it was a really smart idea. I wanna figure out, do you have any ideas for that? All right, over here, there's just like PPE, like helmets and gloves and things like that. 
uh, Jobber. I'm sponsored by Jobber. It's the software that I use to run my business. Go to getjobber.com slash Keith. If you need a software to run your whole business on to do billing and invoicing, I was in Jobber. Getjobber.com slash Keith. That's my podcast, the Untrapped Podcast. We just hit 450,000 downloads on Apple and Spotify. Check it out. We did some doing all types of interviews. It's a really good podcast, at least I think, because I put my heart into it. YouTube just hit 120,000 subscribers or about to this week or whatever. Um, everything's cameras. <laughs> and if you don't have cameras, go buy some of those stickers anyways. And put them all over the place. Had all different types of blowers. St steel BR800. I like, this is the pull start one. My friend William has the one with the little stick in front of you. And you just kind of pull it real quick. And it starts. It actually works. I don't understand how the hell that works. But it seems flimsy like it could break. I get my stuff from Weingart's down the street. Um, I've had, you know, Red Max blowers. Shindaiwa blowers. Echo blowers, steel blowers. I've chosen for now to stay. I don't care, but I happen to just use the steel for one reason. They're really freaking powerful, but they're a little bit more quiet than the other blowers. The other blowers, I would say when I tested, I think that that Red Max, same similar size one, was a little bit more powerful than this, but God, was it loud. <laughs> a little bit more quiet. Um, coming over here, my studio, it's, uh, I shoot a lot of content and videos and work in here and do webinars and I get a lot of work done because I always have dogs barking. I got cobalt cabinets and here's tons of tools and stuff and Milwaukee tool chest. If you've never had a tool chest, get one. Gosh, there's all these drawers. I'm a little embarrassed because it needs to be organized better. Get a toolbox. We do all types of stuff. Yeah, this is the one thing I didn't get to at all. Total mess. This heater's sweet in the winter. My friend William taught me about this. It's DeWalt from Lowe's. I think it uh, runs off kerosene. This thing is like a turbine jet engine flame. Maybe I'll turn it on for a second for you. Come here, look at this. <laughs> it's hot. This is all my organization stuff. Or everything, what we're doing, what we got going on, all types of stuff, little ideas and stuff. This is a program I just finished, the multi-bank account system. It's called Business Money Basics. Uh, go to keithkelfis.com. And go to the online courses tab. And I just filmed an entire course and launched it called Business Money Basics. If you need help understanding how to have your finances impeccable, check out Business Money Basics. KeithKelfis.com. Go to the courses tab and get that course. It's only like 97 bucks, and the stuff on there, I promise you. Information took me from being broke to having an 816 credit score. I can drive off the lot with a brand new truck, do whatever, and have 14 bank accounts. I know that sounds insane, but it's I've learned so much stuff over the years and I'm nowhere where I want to be. I'm just still learning, right? Because I grew up poor as hell, but I compressed it all down and put it right into this course. All right, I'll shut up about that. More tools. Okay. This is my mini stump grinder. This thing is dope. I bought this off William, DR stump grinder. This thing is awesome. It's got a remote start on it. See? Uh, this is a battery-powered wheelbarrow. I got Amazon by Super Handy. I'll put a link below. It, uh, it, Dude, it's amazing. So instead of, you you know, everybody would like to have a $30,000 dingo or whatever. It's like a mini dingo, but it's not a dingo. It's just a wheelbarrow. What I mean is you could fill it up with topsoil or rocks, super heavy, and literally up, up a driveway, up a hill up ramps to the like a dump trailer that thing is awesome it's expensive though it's like 670 bucks but it's the next step before you get a dingo this x mark 48 inch radius x series riding mower 
is insane. It's got grass on it because I literally just cut my grass this morning. And we also use this for spring cleanups and fall cleanups in, in my landscaping business. So we don't use it every day cutting grass because I'm out of cutting grass for now. I discontinued it because we have so many landscaping and landscape maintenance jobs and shrub trimming. But we do use this often. So this thing's a beast. <laughs> uh, I love it. It's amazing. I've been using Xmark mowers since I was a kid. I'll put a link below to some Xmark commercials I've done. We're sponsored by Xmark now, which is like, or is it called? We're an affiliate partner or something. And uh, we're going to be doing some new videos with them soon. Um, this stuff's a mess down here. I need to clean that up. Uh, here's just random stuff. A generator from Harbor Freight ladder. Here's a chipper I bought over there. A Jensen, Jansen chipper, I think it is. Yeah. Thing works like a beast. It blew up on me. It's another story for another day. Bunch of PPE stuff and toolboxes and random tools and stuff. I gotta get to. Well, if you haven't gotten to all that stuff and it's not all perfect, Kelfish, why do you have time to make videos? Yeah, but you could make a video. You know why? Because I love making videos and I'm passionate about making videos. And it's a priority to me, right? Oh yeah, that little Toro snowblower. That thing is a beast! You could plug in an uh, extension cable to it and it, it, it has like an auto start if you plug in ignition. Dude, that thing just plows through snow. It's just a small Toro. I did snow for 15 years and Toro makes a good snow blower. This is a backup DI resin tank for window cleaning. If you know about window cleaning. <laughs> Over here behind the garage is a graveyard of wheelbarrows, a dolly, and then this thing is sweet. We actually use this. This is a notch cart. It's a super heavy duty cart that you can pile eight feet high if you wanted. With limbs, you could carry huge logs, move trees. It was like 600 bucks, dude. This is my crazy garden box I'm building. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm experimenting with gardening. I built this all from scratch. And I just put all the plants in it a couple days ago. We got tomatoes and radishes and beans and broccoli and carrots and beets and zucchinis and cucumbers and lettuce and kale and sweet peppers. This is my little boy, Miko. He's a good boy. Hey, he's a good boy. Yeah. I love you. I love my Miko. He's an old man. I'm gonna close this. This is broke. See that bend? A few years ago, I do it just so it was touching on purpose, but I was so tired that I just bumped into it a little too hard and created that. Ah, oh, I just hit my knee on that. Gosh. Ooh. Slippers.